We're uh, here at the Magic Kingdom heading into the park, but this security line. Yeah. Yikes. It's not a line. It's a mob. It's a mob. <laughs> now we're in. It's only uh, 14 hours until fireworks. <laughs> So now begins the survival diary of surviving our first New Year's in Magic Kingdom. This is going to be a very long day, but totally worth it once those fireworks start. We are starting our day with the nutritious meal of <laughs> waffles and some chicken. Uh, it's not, I know, I know what you're thinking, it's not the waffles you're used to. Uh, and it's definitely not Chick-fil-A chicken, like biscuits and stuff. But. It is, uh, it is the most nutritious meal we could find. It is very good. <laughs> we searched high and low. You knew it's the shortest part. <laughs> It's been a week of you learning how to selfie. I know, how's how's it been going? Oh, I haven't selfied in a day or two now. I've got to get back to it. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to figure it out. She's trying to learn how to yeah, actually get everything in frame enough. and how to also yes. smile while doing it. Yes. It's, it's pretty yeah. difficult. Yeah. We haven't been on that boat since I was like a little kid. So I, I really want to get on the boat. It's got people on it now, so I'm hoping that it doesn't leave until we get over there. Disney, hold the boat. Hold the boat. Can we come in real quick? Real quick, come on. Thank you. No, no, no. I can't wait for those people to run up. They're right there. They're right there. Aha, we just got them. Woo. Get some different angles on some rides. It's pretty fun. Oh, there goes the train. Bye, train. Thing she said actually runs and actually works. That is pretty awesome. Bye, Liberty Bell. That, I would say it brought back memories from when I went on it as a kid, but I don't remember that at all. Uh, Shelby, we are officially 12 hours and 27 minutes away from fireworks. We have a long way to go. A long way to go. <laughs> Everyone's favorite ride. I don't 
actually hate this ride, but it is uh, slightly repetitive and slightly annoying. This is really bumpy. Hi. You didn't even see the lights. Park is also at capacity, so they're letting no one else into the park. The gates out front are closed. We're in. That's what we were trying to avoid this morning. We didn't want to get here too late and have the doors closed when we got here, but we're in. We've got to stay in. We're not allowed to leave. <laughs> to come back to the front of the park just because I think I, I'm voting for finding a place to nap. Just take like a three hour nap, wake up, fireworks. Guess not. Uh, these horns and hats are really annoying and everyone has them. They're super annoying but we're gonna go get some ourselves. It's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to show you how many annoying people there are. I found one very important thing to do. Charge the phone. After a day at a theme park, like 14 hour day, about halfway through, my phone's dead. It's currently about 8.45. That means three hours and 15 minutes to go. So crazy. Coffee run, and 
and literally it's like empty out here. Well, this is basically empty compared to the rest of the day. Crowds have been crazy today. If you ever come on New Year's or Christmas or anything like that, it's Be insane. Prepared. But uh, this right here is nice. And it's because everyone is on that side of the castle. Well, uh, it was right about this time, about an hour before fireworks, that things went a little south for our New Year's Eve celebration in Magic Kingdom. Uh, let's see. It's easier to uh, illustrate this for you guys. You see, this is my little map of the Magic Kingdom. You've got nice Cinderella's castle here. Then this is what's right in front of the castle, the hub for New Year's Eve. This is the place to be, but you've got to be there about mm, six hours early to even get in. So we did not get into the hub, but we found prime seating right here outside of the hub with a perfect eye line of the castle. You could see it. It was perfect. The problem was that we got caught outside of the hub at the wrong time. About 11 o'clock, they closed off all of these bridges. You see, these are bridges that come outside of the hub to Liberty Square. There's one that goes to Adventureland. There's one that goes to Tomorrowland. These bridges all got blocked off. You could not go in. If you went outside that bridge, you were not getting back into the hub. We were not in the hub, but we were right outside the hub, literally right outside where this bridge was. Security was standing here, would not let us back in. We had two people inside the hub, Daniel and Shelby. We had three people outside the hub, me, my mom, and my dad, and we could not get to them. So they had to come to us. We lost our prime seating. We had to run around to the back of the castle, and that is where the vlog is going to pick up. Right when we got to the back side of the castle, you see, this was an issue because when we left the hub, when we walked outside the hub, we had a fast pass for a ride, we left. We had been going in and out all night. As you saw earlier, we went and got coffee. It was no problem. There was no bridge being blocked off. People were coming in, they were coming out. There was no issue whatsoever. But right when we went for our fast pass, sometime after that, they closed off the bridge. They said indefinitely, which meant the rest of the night. No one would be coming in or out of this hub because they had gotten to capacity for fire codes, they could no longer have anyone in the hub. They had enough people in there. It was closed off. That, uh, Disney. You see, I'm, I was very frustrated at the moment, so I didn't record it. I'm still a little frustrated now. You see, Disney, that was not a fire code violation. The entire night you had people walking in and out of the hub. It didn't seem to be a fire code violation then. I don't understand why closing off the hub was a thing that needed to happen. I understand that maybe you lost control of your crowd, so you had to stop people, but it was it was just I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to this rant after the fireworks. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the fireworks, but I was, uh, I've never been disappointed with Disney, ever in my life. Never, ever have I been disappointed with Disney World. This was the first time ever that I had an issue. Um, but for the time being, let's get back to fireworks. I will continue my rant after.
You see, we waited about three hours. We had one hour left to see the fireworks from our prime location. I was very, very frustrated because the whole fire code bogus thing and then really if it was a fire code issue you saw that fireworks were firing right above us during the new year's eve fireworks so like why was that not a fire code issue disney was also sort of baiting people out of the hub they had a dj on stage who was saying hey this ride is only five minute wait hey this ride is only 10 minute wait they were getting people out of the hub and then trapping them outside of the hub the other issue is that the hub itself has no restrooms so if people want to go to the bathroom, they have to leave the hub. If they leave the hub, they might get trapped outside of it. This is an issue because like us, we had half of our family in the hub, half of our family outside of the hub. There were people complaining, dropping all kinds of curse words at Disney security in front of children because they were frustrated because their entire family was in the hub and they were not. And the only thing Disney said was your family can come to you. These were people who had been waiting hours to see the fireworks. And for them, it was very frustrating. For us, it was very frustrating. Like I said, the only time I've ever been disappointed with Disney, but it was quite the disappointment. But that was our New Year's Eve shindig issue problem with Disney. I have a few solutions that Disney could have. Uh, maybe post a sign outside of the bridge that says at this time we're going to be closing the hub or if you leave you might not be able to get back in or have the DJ who's announcing for people to leave the hub have him say maybe hey the hub is going to close in five minutes or the hub is going to close at 11 p.m. set a time that it's going to close and it's a very very simple solution just communicate what's going to happen let your guests who are paying to be there know what's going to happen. There's a lot of issues with the hub on New Year's Eve. There's a lot of issues with Disney on New Year's Eve. It is madness. I will definitely go back to New Year's Eve at Disney knowing what I know now. And I understand that it's a lot of people for Disney to have to deal with. But this New Year's Eve Disney rant is over because I sort of want to leave this behind us. We still enjoyed it. Disney is great on New Year's Eve. I can handle crowds. If you can't handle crowds, you're not going to like it. But that is going to be all for our Magic Kingdom map and explanation of our New Year's Eve. Dad, did you have a good New Year's Eve at Disney? No comment. So we are going to leave it at that. Choose virtue, choose life. So long for now.